Ooh, I'm glad you mentioned Coddling Moth. Ooh, well, here, let's give her a surprise. Okay. Coddling Moth, who knows what a Coddling Moth is? They got a terrible worm, and they love quince. They'll eat your apples all day long. That's why we get worms in our apples, Coddling Moths. And we do have Coddling Moth traps. Maybe I'll go grab one real quick. Yeah. Um, they're, they're little traps. You set and you put inside your garden right about when things start to go to bloom and buds start to push. And inside the trap is a little nugget that a bunch of scientists have identified to make the males infertile. The male coddling moths infertile. So when they come out and the buds are pushing, they find this little trap, lick it a couple times, and they're not going to see much action. And ultimately, your tree is not going to have fertile coddling moss, laying eggs in your apples or quince, producing worms that your mother-in-law is going to find disgusting when you offer her an apple from your tree. So, glad you mentioned that. I'll, I'll, gra I'll grab a coddling okay. moth trap. Yep. And actually, the most effective way to use those coddling moth traps is once you see the coddling moths start showing up in them, is use the BT spray. Because what that them showing up in that trap tells you is that they're active in your trees right now. So if you use the BT spray now at that time, then you know that the females are around laying their eggs in your trees on the blooms. Those eggs are getting ready to hatch out into little worms and crawl their way into the apples or quince or whatever. If you spray at that point, then they get killed before they go into your apples. Once they're in the apples or the quince or whatever, there really isn't much that you can do to them. Um, you can't, you know, go around and inject every apple or, or something like that. It's a yeah, BT worm killer, and it's a, it's a natural and organic product. It's a Bacillus thuringiensis. Scientists, a couple decades back, found that this itty-bitty bacteria, when consumed by these worms, causes them to blow up and explode. So they don't do very much damage by the time that they've, <laughs> by the time they've consumed this small bacteria in the form of a spray. Okay. Okay, because that's supposed to be uh, a way to prevent the moth uh, larvae from getting in. And let me tell you, at the end of, at harvest in October, my quins were all dressed up with nowhere to go. <laughs> they were disgusting inside. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So it didn't work at all. You do have to spray some. BT. Right. Mo so, yeah. Most of the time, those uh, female moths are laying their eggs at the time that it's either a flower or a yeah, just exactly. newly set fruit. So, so that's that's the advantage of using the trap. You put the traps in your trees before the flowers open, and you keep checking them. A couple times a week, you check those traps. As soon as you start seeing moths in those traps, then you can use your BT, and that gets the worms before they get into the, the apples or, or whatever kind of fruit it is. Apples and quince, maybe pears, those are the main things that are affected by coddling moth. Each species has their own particular thing. You know, apricots, it's brown rock. Peaches, it's curly leaf. Apples, it's coddling moth. So, so you need to learn about what kinds of things affect the trees that you have.